Tragedy, horror, action, and monsters. These are the things that created one of my most heartbreaking, emotionally gripping, and disturbing series ever. Hey guys, it's The Pinking here, and this is Character Spotlight. Today, I have a very interesting world of my creation to show you all. What if I told you that monsters you saw as a child, that were living in your closet or under your bed, were real? But they weren't always monsters, but they were in fact once humans. This entire world started with one sketch. This sketch in particular. Yeah, a random poster note with a small creature I called Tet. And then this one, a second, much larger version called Tet also. Originally, Tet's creation was not for a series, but instead for the goal of being a companion of sorts to my avatar you see here. And this reflected in most of his early sketches I did, where he was my little buddy who was capable of transforming into a much larger and beastly form when provoked. Tet was my first drawing ever in 2019, after I just came off a long and difficult point in my life, as this was a time that I lost the love of doing art and was considering never drawing again really. But it was this sketch in particular that led me to reignite my passion for art once more. And so he has a very special place in my heart. But in terms of when I decided to turn Tet into a character of his own, is where things get very interesting now. The time was late 2020, four years ago. And this was around the time I got interested in creating my own series and OCs with stuff like Wasteland and Odyssey of History. And I wanted to give Tet a series of his own also because I really loved his design. It was one of my most well-made designs and it really grew on me. And ultimately, it would be a sort of mixture of things I loved like Hell of a Boss, classic Universal Monsters, and finally, Godzilla that made me finally come up with the perfect story for Tet. So, what is Tet's story? Well, to keep it short, before he was a monster, he was an ordinary man named Raymond. He was a working husband with a wife and two children, one baby and one 18-year-old teenager, who's finally leaving home. Raymond was a man who had never done anything wrong or anything truly remarkable. He was just a ordinary family man. So, when during one fateful night, a monster emerged from the shadows, a monster of horrific and unknown origins, it knocked Raymond out before forcing him to transform into a hideous monster himself, and then proceeded to destroy his entire family, with only his 18-year-old daughter being his last surviving Bit of family remaining. No reason given, no explanation, just Raymond left to be awakened in his monstrous form and surrounded by nothing but the remains of his former life and the horrific memories of their slaughter. Desperate for answers, he discovers the world of monsters, learning monsters come from a separate dimension and travel to our world through shadows, as shadows are portals for them. No matter the shadow, any monster can use them as portals between the human world and the monster's realm. Not every monster is the same, however. Each are unique. You remember trolls, goblins, ghosts, and even Krampus? Yeah. They were all monsters who were originally humans. In this series, Raymond would travel in between the human and the monster realm, coming across several challenges and learning more about his new form, while trying to reconnect with his daughter and uncover the monster was there that night. But ultimately he would get his answers, as the monster who transformed him is the ruler of the monster realm, the Queen Bitch. And for those of you wondering, she's called this because of her character 
and because I wanted to pay homage, if you will, to Godzilla, as he was a huge inspiration for this series, and I just love Goji so much that I just really wanted to include a little homage to him. And so the name Queen Bitch was the original name for the Roland Emmerich sequel Godzilla before it was eventually scrapped. And so for a little detail for you keen eye viewers out there, I decided to name this character the Queen Bitch to help keep the character alive, if you will. Now in this universe, monsters aren't just savage beasts. They have a specific law. That being, there can only be one monster who controls them all. This ruler must be decided through combat, with the most powerful monsters in the realm to witness. The leader is the monster who holds the power and keeps the monsters in order, managing the balance between the monsters and the human world. Many monsters have ruled in the past. How far back it goes is unknown. But the Queen Bitch is the longest reigning one so far, having ruled for millennium. This character is pure evil, as in the series it's revealed that she turned Raymond into a monster for no reason at all. Despite everything Raymond believed, she did it because she enjoys it. She enjoys breaking apart people's soul. But that's not all, as it's revealed that when she transformed Raymond, it was actually Raymond who killed his family and not her. She made him go crazy for her own amusement as she made him feral as his monstrous form. And so knowing this, Raymond snaps. With rage of his realization, he challenges the queen bitch and after a long bloody battle, he defeats her. Now forced to inherit her throne and become the new monster king where he is now tasked with defending the realm and his new throne, as he will have to fight off more challenges just like him to come, with one of them being his main enemy, Jalozi, the Manticore, and someone who has wanted the throne and its power ever since he tried to overthrow the queen years ago and was banished. But now that the queen is gone, all those former challengers have a shot at reclaiming the throne. Now, I'm going to cut off right there because I really enjoy what happens in this story. A lot happens in this story. It's, I, I really have to shorten it down for this video, but a lot happens. This is a very dark story, but I love that. It has drama, it has plot twist, it has character, and it is a story that will pose a lot of moral questions, especially with the stuff that does happen. So if you guys ever want me to explain more of the lore in this series and more about what happens here, then comment down below. I'll definitely make another video expanding on this lore if you guys are interested in that, because a lot happens in here, and if you're a monster fan, I think you'll enjoy what happens here. But the fun doesn't stop there, because fun fact, all of my worlds and stories that I create are technically connected. I might make a video in this in future explaining how, but all you need to know is that they are connected in some way, which means that it has crossovers, and Raymond is a character I like to cross over with another one of my OCs, Scales, a teenager who has the power to transform into a mutant lizard. But his story is deep in its own way, and for another spotlight in future, definitely. But the point here is, I often tend to draw these two facing each other off. For me in my world, this is my equivalent to Godzilla vs Kong, with Raymond as Godzilla and Scales as Kong. And I even have a potential story in future for how Scales dethrones Raymond before Raymond takes it right back. But again, that's a story for another day. Monster Heart is one of my most personal series ever. And it has a lot of deep meaning and interesting lore I cannot wait to share with you guys in a potential future animated series, fingers crossed, because it's always been a dream of mine to become an animator and a storyteller with his own series, and so hopefully one day I'll finally be able to share with you this full world and these characters, because I really want to become an animator in future and just create stories. And I think this story is one that you lot will enjoy a lot. But with that, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Character Spotlight. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like. 
if this video gets 100 likes, I will definitely make a follow-up video going over more of the lore behind Monster Heart. And with that, I will see you all next time.